Hi everyone, welcome to WIC channel. My name is Rifad. So today we'll be talking about eight ways to kind of how to improve your credit score in 2019 and kind of tips uh, on how to tweak or, or adjust, you could say, and, and get a better credit score over time, right? Uh, even this could apply to person that kind of have a bad credit score or none at all to kind of how to improve and how to get better. Um, so let's jump into it. So uh, let's start with the um, the ways. I cannot set up all the eight here, we could say, um, so you guys can have an idea. Um, I would say start off first is leave uh, leave old credit cards open. Um, that's one of the things uh, people tend to do sometimes. You know, they go through, oh, I have remaining credit cards. I'm not using this anymore. I'm just canceling them, canceling them. Um, it is not technically good. Uh, I mean, still use them. Maybe put some small monthly payments on them to keep it continuously working. Um, but overall, I would recommend to kind of keep it open, uh, so it's so it's there, you know. Uh, so it's kind of a credit score you can always uh, count on. Um, so it's it's there as a as a as a history because the main reason is to have a history uh, which you can provide. So you can be a credit card you have since the age of 16. Imagine, and now you're 40 and you have the same credit card. It just creates a history. So it's important because credit company unions like to kind of uh, credit companies. They kind of calculate your credit report and stuff like that. They like to have a uh, kind of history so it helps them know and it also shows discipline because the longer you have the same credit card, you build history so it shows okay, the person is paying, paying or my, the person had a debt but he paid it off. So it shows discipline, it shows, uh, so it kind of creates your history, I would say. That's kind of very important. Um, so even even you could say like I come back to a debt you, even if you have a de huge debt on the credit card and you finish paying it you know don't cancel it just keep it because and continuing continue that because it shows the credit card company that you had a debt but you paid it it shows discipline which is very important. Uh, number two is um, credit uh, correct any any uh, errors on your credit report. Uh, two main. Uh, Two main credit companies uh, report that we have here, major players, are Equifax, Canada Equifax, and TransUnion. So you can ask a credit report from them. Uh, there might be a charge for it. Just ask for it, and you can go through it and kind of fix anything. Uh, in my personal, in my personal case, I did have an issue uh, with TransUnion, which they had two. Two credit reports for me uh, because I one day went for a car loan and they were like, oh yeah, I'm, I, we kind of even almost asked for a cosign. I'm like, what's going on? I've been having a good credit report, blah, blah. So I, I didn't really understand why uh, because the, they said, oh, yeah, because the credit report I had, you have no activity since like almost three, four years. Then after I dove, dove deep, got the credit report and stuff like that and found out that they had two credit reports for me. So I kind of had to merge them both uh and cancelled off so that kind of stuff happens so you can ask to kind of fix it that can help uh, another thing is increasing limit um so i would say is uh number three is increasing limit so if some if a bank usually technically offers you right uh, example now you have a five thousand dollar credit card a bank says hey you know i'm offering you uh pre-approved fifteen thousand take it um because uh, people tend to say, oh, I'm not taking it because I don't need it or stuff like that. No, still take it because first they didn't do a credit check. Uh, this is a pre-approved uh, kind of thing, so it's awesome. So just take it. Uh, and another thing is because, think about it, because if, for example, you're spending, we'll say approximately $5,000 on a particular credit card, which has an $8,000 limit, um, compared to a $5,000 spending on a 15000 15, credit limit, it looks much better because the ratio is lower um, because the kind of bank credit uh, companies kind of tend to see is they want to make sure that the use of your credit card is lower is the limit of usage is lower so always tend to keep it to the lower end um, in terms of usage because even if you have five thousand and you're an eight thousand dollar limit and you're paying always a five thousand it tend to look bad because you're always using uh, close to the, the max capacity compared to when you have five thousand and you're using fifteen you no know, when you're using five thousand over fifteen thousand limit it looks lower so it's kind of better so take it you know uh, and also another thing typically basic thing is pay your bills on time if you're building rebuilding a credit report pay your bills on time, uh, very vital. Uh, if you have any issues, even you can set up automatic payments, you know, sometimes uh, you can configure is, uh, come and always take the minimum amount, 
uh, from a bank account on a particular credit card, you can uh, do that. So try doing that. Um, and also uh, people say, uh, I have a credit card, but I'm not using it. Use it. It's very important. Even if it's for basic needs, just put for $20, use it continuously because that's the way you build a report and improve it. Um, and also I would say limit the number of credit, uh, credit checks. Uh, that's also another factor because uh, coming back to the credit increase, right? Uh, because credit increase your credit, they did it without necessarily doing a credit check. So that's awesome uh, because that kind of increases your credit limit uh, without necessarily doing a credit check. So very vital is limit the credit checks you can do because that is impacts your credit score. Um, and also uh, use different types of credit. That's another thing I would say. Uh, mix because you can have, you can have credit card, you have car loan, line of credit, you have you have other stuff, so mix it, you know, don't always mix on, oh, I have a credit card, that's it, no, you know, add a bit of both, you know, add a, have a credit, um, you know, line of credit, you don't necessarily have to use it, but it's there, uh, so it's stuff like that, so it's, it's, you have it available, and you're using it, and you have a car loan that you're paying, so kind of show that you're mixing up uh, stuff, so it's kind of good to have a, a mix portfolio, a mix account of a sick report so the uh, credit report can see oh the person is doing a lot of stuff and he's paying it all on time so that's we kind of build a report over time to have a good credit report um so overall these are kind of eight factors i would say eight things eight tips and tricks i would give you for 2019 uh to kind of how to improve your credit score uh let me know down the below uh down below comment what do you guys think about it uh do you have any tips tricks you guys uh, know about i would love to hear from you guys like always and um hit uh hit the subscribe button if you guys have not subscribed uh thumbs up if you like the video it would be awesome uh, and also, as usual, two links in the description, one for the Facebook and Twitter. Would love to have you guys over there. Um, so thank you very much for watching and have yourself a wonderful day. Whoosh!